Hello, my friends, and welcome. I'm Ryan Clements, and I'm joined by He Only Does Everything, Colin Moriarty. Beyond. And uh, Beyond. Uh, we have some interesting things to talk about. Rumors hit the internet about the PlayStation 4, Sony's next home console. Very exciting. What's a code name? Uh, Codenamed Orbis. Oh, that's a hell of a name. Woo! That's a thing. Now, there's, uh, the rumors have a few details to them, including the CPU and GPU, which I don't think are as exciting as a couple other pieces of uh, information, including the fact that it apparently will not play PlayStation 3 games. Whoa, there's going to be some sort of restriction placed on the system's ability to play used games. Now, we also heard that there's a potential holiday release for 2013. So with all that said, Colin, uh, true or fake? Uh, it's probably true, but I don't know. I mean, so we did reach out to Sony, of course. Uh, we talked to our people there. Uh, their usual line when they don't want to tell us anything is uh, we don't comment on rumors and speculation. Uh, you'll not. see that in all of our stories. We kid around on that. But is it real? Probably. Um, it's not really beyond the pale to think that uh, the first parties, Naughty Dog, Sucker Punch, you know, Studio Japan, etc., have dev kits. Um, it's not beyond reason to expect that it'll play Blu-ray discs, which uh, the story does talk about. Mm -hmm. um, what I'm concerned about, uh, and I think what Sony's probably concerned about, is, is controlling this story because PlayStation 3 actually has really good momentum right now, um, and announcing PlayStation 4 will probably kill that momentum. Which so I think they kind of want to hide. Yeah, yeah. Not a smart business move. No. PlayStation 3 is is you know selling better. It's selling you know outselling Xbox 360, obviously in Japan and in Europe. Um, it's getting trounced in, in, in North America. Um, but there's positive momentum. There's positive growth there worldwide. Um, and I think that it's taken a while for PlayStation 3 to find itself, uh, unlike PlayStation 1 and especially PlayStation 2. So I don't think Sony wants to kind of interfere with that momentum right now. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, the used game thing uh, is interesting uh, because, uh, you know, the 360 successor 720 uh, is rumored to do the same thing. Um, so it would be interesting if one did it and the other didn't. Absolutely. Yeah. So Colin, on the topic of backwards compatibility, why do you think, if these reports are true, why would the uh, PlayStation 4, the Orbis, mm. not play PlayStation 3 games? Well, it makes sense to me because of the PlayStation Network. Uh, when PlayStation 2 came out, it played PS1 games. When PlayStation 3 came out, it initially played PS2 games and still plays PS1 games, uh, but not PS2 games anymore. I think what Sony kind of realized after the fact and kind of had a hard time taking it back is that they can make a lot of money on PlayStation Network by selling old games that you just cannot play on a new system. So mm. to release the PS3 catalog digitally when PlayStation 4 came out, for instance, would actually be a huge boon for them and to allow you to go and buy used games, uh, used Blu-ray discs or whatever, uh, would probably be problematic to them making money. So it makes perfect sense. So the only other thing we want to talk about is in regards to these used games and uh, the, the quandary here is that uh, if you buy, a, su supposedly, if you buy a game for the Orbis, Never gonna get it's not going to be called Orbis. <laughs> if you buy a game for the Orbis, you throw it into the system, uh, you can actually, according to these reports, install that data onto your system and it sort of flags the data as you've downloaded off the PlayStation Network. It's yours to keep. Uh, you can supposedly just kind of get rid of the disc and you have access to that content from there on out. And uh, from what these sources are saying, uh, you'll be able to, the, the, that disc will, because it's locked to your PlayStation Network account in some way, uh, if it's recirculated, maybe it'll give someone else trial access to the game, but they won't be able to play the entire game. Uh, so say you sell it back to a store, someone goes into that store, picks up that used copy, they'll be able to sort of use it as a trial disc, buy the full game later, and then, uh, and then download it from there uh, and permanently unlock it on their console. Again, very unclear, not really sure if that's going to be how it works, but uh, that seems to be like a tentative idea for uh, how that how that system will handle the used games. Indeed, it seems like an evolution of what's already happening on PlayStation Vita in which you know all the games are available digitally and some are available at stores, but you can actually circulate the cards if you buy them in a store to someone else. So it's basically just locking out that other half of it. But all the games, this rumor is true, means it means that all the PlayStation 4 games will be on PSN, which is quite tantalizing as well. Mm, tantalizing indeed. Clements, what I'm curious about, of course, is uh, you know, this, this, this story says uh, holiday 2013. Yes. Uh, and we've talked extensively on Podcast Beyond about when we think PS4 will be announced and when PS4 will come out. And I'm kind of curious, and, and I'll give my prediction, but I'm kind of curious, what, what is your time frame? When will PS4 be announced and when will PS4 come out? Uh, PS4 announcement maybe next year E3? I don't know. It seems like that would be a pretty, that would be a tight window then because it would only have a few months until uh, the, holiday, uh, the holiday season and then it would be hitting the market. So, I don't know. I mean, what, what do you think? My, my inkling was always that PS4 wouldn't actually be out until 2014, but it seems like, but, and we've talked about it on Podcast Beyond yes, quite yes. often, uh, I don't really think that there's even a need for another console right now, but uh, it seems like everything's kind of in motion right now, and maybe the games are being developed, so uh, I actually agree with you. I think E3 next year is a pretty pretty good spot. Maybe TGS this year, because mm, Sony's hands been Still forced. pretty close. Yeah, but I think, I think E3 next year, and I think holiday 2013 is probably pretty reasonable as well, but we'll see. 
Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Colin. Thank and you. And for more on the PlayStation 4 and all these reports, you can go to IGN.com for everything you need. Take it away. <laughs> and now Sting with a cut off his new album. Take it away. <laughs>